Hello guys, in this video we're gonna talk about with you 7 principles of attacking in chess. Let's get started. Principle number 1. Always create a threat with your move. Creating a threat with every move is one of the important principles of attacking chess. If your move possesses a threat, your opponent will have much more harder time to realizing his next plans because he would have to utilize his resources to deal first with the threats. Always try to find a move that threatens your opponent's safety. And if you look on the current position on the board, we can see that white is actually uh, white is losing material because his queen is under attack, two pawns, and the knight being attacked by the queen. And here, if white plays passively, he can actually can lose the pawns and maybe the advantage. However, white here finds a very strong counter-attacking move, which is queen goes to g3. And by playing queen g3, we are not only protecting our knight, but at the same time attacking the opponent's knight. And at the same time, the most important threat is coming up, and that is the discover attack. And by that, we can win the black's queen. Principle number two, exploit your opponent's weaknesses. Weaknesses can come in a different shapes and forms, but often they need to be created before you, you can fully exploit them. And if your opponent has already a weakness, what you need to do would be to regroup your forces and attack it. And in the current situation, you can see is that white is doing really hard in order to attack this c7 pawn, but at the same time, White is also black is also doing well by protecting this pawn with his three major pieces. And here is the most important idea that many mature players don't understand. Even though in this current situation, white cannot win the c7 pawn right away, he gets an enormous advantage in pieces activity. Just compare here the placement of the white pieces and with the black, and you can see that this position. Is just technically won for white. Principle number three. Concentrate your pieces before attack. Before you launch a massive attack, you need to make all the necessary preparations. Not preparing the attack can, can be a huge mistake and it can turn out to be very costly. Here we can see that white has doubled up his rooks on the h file and white is at the same time, uh, white is putting the pressure on the kingside part. And here white brings his queen to h2, which now the pressure over this h fall even way more increases. And we are just fully putting all our pieces to concentrate on the h file. Next, white can play some sort of like a knight e5 move, and instead of taking the h7 pawn, focusing on the kingside in general, but just not thinking about just to gain this small material. Uh, just to gain the small material. And keep in mind, not rushing is a very important concept in many chess positions. And here, for example, in the current situation or in general, it is much better to prepare an attack and to mate an opponent than simply to win just a one extra pawn. Principle number four. When you're attacking, open the position. This is a common sense rule and still many play players ignore this simple idea. If you have an attack in progress, it makes sense to open up the position even further so it allows your bishops and the rooks to take use of that space even more. In the current situation we can see that white really made a quick development, the pieces are very centralized and the black queen is very misplaced. At the same time, the king is under attack. And here white just played d4, and by pushing this pawn, white is trying to open up the e-file, which it helps to include the rooks and the queens over this e-file, and get even, even further advantage because of the open file. And here we can see after d4, black is a huge trouble. Principle number five, 
exchanging of key defenders. By exchanging of key defender when you're attacking, it makes your attack even much more easier and stronger. Keep in mind that the defender, the key defender of your opponent, is not always the strongest piece, but it's his important piece in the defense. And in the current situation, white rooks are double double on the h file and they want to go on h8. However, because of this black's dark square bishop on g7 that stops us to get the rook on h8, it's simply kind of stopping the most of the threats of the white. And here's the easiest and the straightforward way to get rid of this dark square bishop is just by offering to trade by playing bishop c3. And after trade, you can see that right now white has a complete control over these squares because we have exchanged the key defender. Principle number six. If you have the initiative, avoid exchanging. Well, this may this rule may seem the contradict with the previous one, uh, which that was exchanging the key defender. Let me clarify what, real, what it really means. Even though you should exchange of the key defenders in the opponent's position, but you should try to avoid unnecessary exchanges since it will only benefit your opponent. Because fewer pieces means fewer attacking possibilities and fewer things to worry about. And that's not what we should go after. Here we can see is that white is currently up a pawn, which still by trading the queens, white, uh, white will have enough advantage to win the game. But actually, it would be even better to avoid trading the queens because black is the problem here over this G file. So instead of trading the queens in the current situation, what white need to do is to avoid trading the queens and try to lift up one of the rooks on the G file so it can give white even more advantage. And our final principle number seven, attacking on both sides of the board. This is very powerful technique that you should use in your own games. When your opponent, when your opponent was able to defend one on one side of the board, you should relocate your pieces on the other side and continue the attack. As we can see here, white was actually first start to put the pressure over this c7 pawn, but black was able to defend his queen side very well by these two rooks and as well as king. And therefore here what white tries to do would be to change the direction of an attack and relocate his pieces on the h file by winning the material on the king side part. That was all for our today's video. If you got a little bit of advice from this video, it means a lot to me. Thanks for watching.